Hey, what's up traders? Will here from Cine Stocks. Super, super short video. Just going to be trying to explain how and why I traded Tesla today and the exact reasons uh, behind the trade, basically. So, uh, I firstly shorted Tesla once it cracked below my short under level. So, we've chopped around on this little bit here and then we've stopped out once the stock reached a high. I then decided to add on this pullback as we reached the high and I'll also go through a few indicators just basically demonstrating why I entered the trade. So I will be doing this in a back trading manner. So if we go on replay real quick and go back to pre-market, uh, this is basically the setup. So if I turn on my uh, levels as well as my indicators, we can then kind of, or I'm gonna try and present this trade idea in a way which, um, which in, in, in a way that I'll be thinking in a live trading market, right? So something a little bit new, uh, never done this before. Just gonna see how it goes in terms of, um, you know, like structure and identifying the trend in a back trading model. So obviously I've got my short on the level, which is this red line here. It is in my pre-market plan, which I post every day and the other levels I will also get into. So. Obviously, we are seeing a gap down in the market. The recent close was around uh, 190.6, and it looks like we're going to be open at 185.78. So first things first, I see this as a retracement gap, and a retracement gap is literally when we have a super bullish day, and then the stock gaps down to retrace, and then hopefully fills the gap. So retracement is when it fills the gap back up. So obviously, the gap is going to be filled at the yesterday's close, which is around 190.68. So that is basically the level we are looking for, at least for our first target, right? So obviously we're gapping down. Next candle comes in. So this is the first candle at the open, super, super bearish. You know, it just looks like uh, we wanna keep going lower. So as soon as we hit my short under level, which was already planned before pre-market, which as you can see is from this level here, I start shorting the stock. So. We get a lovely flush down. Unfortunately, we do not see any proper targets here. And we are just basically chopped around within this sort of range for a little while. Now, obviously, I'm adding more shares here because I'm like, right, this is a retest of this short. We are just doing the simple S curve. You know, we're going to see something along the lines of this. And that is what I'm hoping to secure our first proper target. But simply, the stock just does not want to do that in this example. So we keep on holding this short position. We keep on seeing it crack down. You know, we just cracked below this recent um, this recent low. So, you know, we think that's more confirmation that it's going to go lower. But as a matter of fact, the stock basically just double bottoms, right? So now we are looking for the neckline break, which is basically up here. And then bang, we break the neckline. And also we flush out any, any um, short traders who have their proper target literally on the, um, the recent resistance. Right, and that, is, and that is obviously where I got stopped out as well, because my stop was there as well. Pretty ironic, but um, yeah, my stop was there. So now I'm looking at the trade, I'm like, right, if this stock really wants to just fizzle out, maybe do something along long, long lines of this, I really want to see this lower wick go. And the reason for that is because this candle is super, super bullish. This is a two minute time frame, I want to make sure, make clear. And this is a super bullish candle with a lot of volume as well. So we are looking for a bearish candle to close below this candle here. And the reason is because if this candle or if a bearish candle closes below and actually holds the below it, that means every single buyer who is in this candle is now under the water and is either going to be buying more shares down, sorry, going to be buying more shares down here again at this level. Or that it's going to be sort of forced to sell. And when they're forced to sell, obviously it's going to create uh, more pressure for the stock to go down. Right, so at this moment in time, on the chart, I am not holding any position. And I'm looking to go in long. Right, so what do we see? We see VWAP and we also have the 21 and 10 EMA in this cloud. So we're currently holding VWAP, looking super, super strong right now. Uh, I can't remember why I've got this green line here. Looking super, super strong. And also, we have just rejected this change in the trend level. So if we go out on my chart quickly, you can see that this is a recent pivot point. And obviously, it is a crucial support and resistance as well. It has been in yesterday's session. 
uh, also. But it, it has me thinking, it, like, we will likely uh, pull back and uh, go higher. So that was basically my thoughts upon that situation. So we start pulling back. We start retesting level. Obviously, more sellers are coming in, um, you know, because they the, the, the risk of reward at this level is quite good. Like, if you're, if you're shorting anywhere within this zone, oh, anywhere within this zone, right? So let's say this, this area here. Your stop loss would likely just be up here somewhere, right at this at this one uh, one eight seven eighty level, or at least that's what I'll do. So the risk reward is pretty good if you are going to be targeting this like one eight one point six six level, or at least the lower day. But then, I start getting bullish because I see that VWAP is holding. So let's do a um, text and let's just do points on why this is a bullish setup. So um, why? It is bullish. One, holding the WAP. Right, that is literally the first one. We can already do a two as well. We are also holding um, the 10 EMA. Super, super bullish. And now we are just going to be looking for our number three. I mean, we could also add a number three, which is, uh, of course, a, a, a bull flag. A bull flag is literally forming. In front of our eyes. So, three so far. Let's try and get to five. So, ball flag still forming. We are still bouncing from the ball flag. And also, you got you got to also think about the double bottom. So, this is the neckline. Basically, our short underline is the neckline. We've got a double bottom here. Uh, looks a little something like this. And we've got our neckline just here. We've technically retested it. But we would be looking for a stronger retest, in my opinion. Um... I'm pretty sure I'm in the trade by now. Uh, if I can load up Discord quickly, you can see exactly when I alerted the stock. So we alerted the stock um, here, right at 14.57 or 9.57 in EST time. So this is the chart we gave, so we can see exactly where um, I, I came in short as well. So if we just go back to trading view real quick, you can see that I, I'm already in short. Or I'm in short on the next candle, sorry. So this is this is the candle I get short on. I'm triggered in. Whatever I mark it by. I did mark it by this trade. And we are now testing the we are now testing the um the, the, the neckline of the double bottom. So super strong, super strong confirmation. And obviously if the um if the stop does below go below this bullish candle, then we can start thinking the trade is um is 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 showing weakness for the bullish side. So our next um, bullish reason, bullish reason, sorry, is that we are holding the neckline. Brackets. I'm just gonna put double B, so you guys know. Double B. All right. So now we've got four things. So I'm in this trade. Got four reasons behind us. Next counter comes in. We're still holding double bottom. And also, if you can see this. We have a massive upper wick on this two minute candle. And let me ask this question. What does this represent? Well, this quite frankly represents sellers obviously coming into the stock and on very high volume as well and shorting it because they think we're going to see something along the lines of this. And let me ask you this as well. What do you think happens when this candle is beaten? What do you think happens when price goes above this candle? Everyone within this zone who has been shorting will be under the water and will be forced to cover shares. So, you know, it's always great to know when a stock has a lot of shorts in. Because quite frankly, it's just going to add to the pressure when, when it does break out. Right, so we're in this stock. We've got our stop loss literally at um, this low here. So we've got quite a while until it does get stopped out. And we're still just waiting. We're waiting patiently. Next candle comes in. Super, super bullish. We are also in closing the close. <laughs> We're also closing above the close of the previous red candle. So we can see that already some shorts being trapped. Obviously not as many. Uh, ideally, we want to see this level break, this uh, this red line, because everyone in this zone will be trapped. Right. So wait for the next candle. Again, super, super bullish candle. We've also gapped up. Also have a little window here. Um, so let's just do this in a super bright blue. We've also got a little window, and basically, when I see little windows, I love it because it just adds momentum. 
like price has been forced to jump up because there's so many buyers coming into the stock. That's what you need to think about when you're reading these price candles, right? Next candle comes in and we break the high. Obviously, we've got a super bearish candle. It is a, a, a an evening star candle and might be an even star reversal. I start panicking. I'm not going to lie. I did sell. I, did, I scaled out on this candle just in case. Just in case we were going to double top um, or, you know, perform an actual evening star. So I did scale out someone here. And then the next candle comes in. Super bullish candle. I mean, obviously not the best candle since we didn't have um, higher volume. But it is still a bullish candle. We are, we are, we are looking for the, um, the next high to break for all the sellers who did actually uh, join in on this candle to go under the water. Next candle comes in. Super bullish. Literally closes above. Everyone in this zone here is now trapped. Everyone. Every person short in this zone is now trapped. Oh, I keep mucking this up. Right, and, and what does that mean? They are just going to be forced to cover, or they're going to be forced to short more shares, and then just get squeezed out. It's just such a such a beautiful trade, and um, it's just an A plus setup. There's just so many green ticks, and we'll go over them again in the video just to concrete them into your mind on why this is such a great trade. So we keep on going. We've also got our uh, our levels on screen. So our long over level is from if we go back on the chart. It's from this little uh, resistance here. So in my mind, I was thinking if this level breaks, it's going to be an instant bullish level because everyone here in short is going to also be under the water. You've got to think of that as well from the previous day. And then I also have this BS level, which basically means bearish selling. And that is from yesterday's price. So as you can see, everyone in this stock uh, from the recent uh, Wednesday session. So this is the day before CPR is released. Everyone was bearish on Tesla. And I was just thinking to myself, mate, if this thing breaks 190.78, we are likely just going to rock it up to, um, you know, 193.64, which is my pre-market level from the uh, CPI, CPI price spike. So let's go back to our trade. We, we know all these sellers are short. And we're just going to see how this goes. So stock keeps on going up, keeps on breaking our levels. It's now testing this 190.78 uh, level. As you can see, blast through. It looks like a lot of stops were hit. If uh, a lot of short selling um, traders were stops were hit, sorry, and were forced to um, cover shares, obviously, and then we hit our pre-market level, which was this recent pre-market level, and then we just consolidate here for a little bit, and then we hit our profit target, which was our third and final profit target, which was the the, um, the, the final the final straw, which was the uh, the CPI trend. Um, the CPI pre-market price uh, increase. Sorry, I keep going word stock. So then that's basically it. That's the trade. And then ever since then, the stock hasn't actually hit a new high. So we exited at the perfect time. Obviously, later in the day, it did actually go higher. As you can see here, it goes higher there. But for a scalp trade out of the open, it was a very, very consistent trade. So let's just go over why I took the trade. So one... Um, it's a shame that I can't actually do drawings. Right. Let's just uh, copy and paste this and delete all drawings quickly just to make sure uh, we can go hide indicators. So let's go back to it. So one, it was holding VWAP. So, it, oh, this is annoying. So if I had to take off all my indicators, sorry guys for the wait. If I take off all my indicators here, one, it is holding VWAP. My VWAP is this orange line in the sand. Uh, two, it is holding the 10 EMA, which is this blue line. Um, super, super bullish confirmation. Uh, three, it is a ball flag, a standard, beautiful ball flag. Something along the lines of this. There's the pole, you know, bullish pattern at the best. And three, it is holding the neckline of the double bottom. So if we just go on the one minute, just to clarify, this is an amazing double bottom. As you can see here, we got our two bottoms and then we have our neckline, which is just around here somewhere. So yeah, four things, four great uh, reasons to enter this trade. And I hope that you guys know um, possibly how to look for a trade like this in the future. I mean, they do come around quite often. You might get one three times a week on large caps, specifically on Tesla. Um, I mean, it's it's just all about identifying this in the identifying the setup um, 
in the moment. That's all it comes down to. Uh, if you have seen my recent video on back trading on Tesla, I strongly um, suggest that you purchase a monthly membership. Again, I will. Uh, I'm, I'm not actually sponsored by TradingView. I just love the platform. I love how they've developed it into a, into a sense that you can back trade on it. You can basically um, trade in fake time, etc. Uh, I will try and get a, a code for you guys. So maybe you could be able to use it on checkout. Maybe get 10%, 20% off, etc. But that is, um, yeah, that's basically it. I hope you guys like the video. Also, link in bio, there is a trading, uh, a trader sync link, uh, my, my affiliate link, and you get 40% off the one year plan. You can also back trade on trader sync. I'd like to make, um, make a point, but obviously I think it's a little bit more costly, but also you get to journal on trader sync. So I think the, um, they do weigh each other out a little bit, but yeah, that is basically it for the video. Hope you guys liked it. Obviously, if you, um, learn something new, make sure to like the, like the video because anything is greatly appreciated as always. And also subscribe if you are new. Nice. That is it from me. I'll see you in the next video. Take care, guys.